Thoughts and prayers, yeah. guys. It always works. Yeah. So, so this prayer is, you know, a pretty generic prayer. It's not anything specific, but it's a, you know, anti-racism prayer. So that's good. It's wake me up, Lord, so that the evil of racism finds no home within me. Keep watch over my heart, Lord, and remove from any bar- remove from me any barriers to your grace that may oppress and offend my brothers and sisters. Fill my spirit, Lord, so that I may give services of justice and peace. Clear my mind, Lord, so and use it for your glory. And finally, remind us, Lord, that you said, blessed are the peacemakers, so, so, for they shall be called children of God. Okay, so let's break down how using this prayer is directly hypocritical to Ken's statement. Um, <laughs> Remove me from any barriers to your grace. It seems like President Gormley here is has many barriers um, <laughs> that may oppress and offend his brothers and sisters in the Duquesne community. Um, one of them is the fear of sounding too politically correct. Um, in this instance, uh, it's against people who might swing more conservative. Uh, because not calling it Black Lives Matter, not mentioning police, seems very, very, very much like you're just trying to make sure that no one gets angry about this statement instead of actually speaking out against the injustices that are happening and calling out racism and discrimination in your midst. Um, there you go. So my spirit about- Lord, so I may give services of, inju- of justice and peace. Okay, so your ability to give services of justice and peace. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what does that sound like? How about using your platform, right? so that I may give services of justice and peace. So if you're the university president, the service that you give is leadership, Mm -hmm. right? You lead the university. These are times when presidents and leaders are supposed to step up. And we've seen what happens when that doesn't happen. So has President Gormley stepped up? Has President Gormley given a definitive tone and addressed the root of you know, all of the issues that this letter was attempting to call out? Clearly not. Why? Because he hasn't said any of them. As we've been saying this whole time, he has not called out any of the symptoms. He has not called out any of the causes. And so by saying that I will give, by by asking the Lord to fill his spirit with strength so that he may give services of justice and peace, he is inherently not giving those services. And I 